Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated was founded at Howard University in Washington, D.C., January 9, 1914, by three young, innovative African-American male students. The founders, Honorable A. Langston Taylor, Honorable Leonard F. Morris, and Honorable Charles I. Brown wanted to organize a Greek letter fraternity that would truly exemplify the ideals of brotherhood, scholarship, and service. All right, my name is Brian Dawsey. I'm originally from Savannah, Georgia, and I'm a member of the Tau Beta Sigma chapter of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. Uh, DeAndre Orr, I'm from Miami, Florida. Uh, by way of Gainesville, Florida. Uh, that's where I went to school at. I'm part of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, Tau Beta Sigma grad chapter. My name is Derek J. Mallow. I'm a native of Savannah, Georgia. Of course, I'm also from Savannah, Georgia. This is my hometown. I'm a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, the Tau Beta Sigma chapter, which is a grad chapter, and I serve on the executive board as treasurer for Tau Beta Sigma. So Phi Beta Sigma, we do a lot of community service activity. Um, we're founded on Brotherhood Scholarship and Service, and service is, is really huge for us. Uh, one of the things that we do every year is the Back to School Bash. Um, we give, this year we gave out over 300 book bags uh, with supplies in it. Uh, we gave out uniform vouchers. Uh, we gave out hygiene products. We gave out um, just different things to different schools. Um, on top of that, we do a lot of other um, organizations. We do street cleanups, um, like even today. I mean, every Tuesday we go to the Salvation Army as well, and we serve um, giving back in that way. Um, around this time every year, Thanksgiving, we um, have someone prepare a hot meal for us, and we go give it to a family um, that's in need. Um, and we randomly select names from different organizations, like Second Harvest give us a name, or a church would give us names. So if we know a family that's in need, we just really try to um, help out as much as possible um, in the community. And one of my biggest models that I live by is that, you know, we measure to improve, not to impress. So I have a couple of cliche things. We talk about Sigma's being on the move, uh, but one of our slogans that's on our letterhead that stood out to me is Sigma equals service. Whenever you look around into the community and you see an organization, I would dare to say there's not a fraternity more active than Phi Beta Sigma because we're gonna be there. Whether we're one brother, two brother, three brothers, there's a brother that's gonna be present and we're gonna be doing the work of Sigma and the work for Sigma and the work for the community as a whole. So that's the work that Sigma does. You know, we focus on the, the three principles of brotherhood, scholarship, and service. And our motto is culture for service and service for humanity. That in a nutshell tells you everything that Phi Beta Sigma does in the community as well as how we try to impact our fellow brother and sister. When we talk about the, the, the difference between graduate and undergraduate chapter, be honest with you, there's really not a difference. The only significant difference between the two is this entry point. When we talk about undergrad chapter, that means that the brother has came through the organization through an undergraduate chapter at a college or university. On the uh, grad chapter side, any brother that comes in through grad chapter has came through a chapter that is kind of either citywide, countywide, or, um, or, or one of those type of entities. Now, the, the main difference is that when you talk about grad chapter, these are brothers who have already graduated from a college or university. Undergrad are those brothers that are still on the college campus matriculating in that hopes on that pathway to becoming a graduate member. So in undergrad, I always wanted to be um, a Sigma. However, um, in college, I would have did it for the wrong reasons. And um, when I moved to Savannah in 2013, um, I was reached out to um, multiple times about the interest in the frat because I was still interested, but the time wasn't right. Like I was just um, getting married and or just moved here or trying to get my feet wet here. Um, and then um, I finally decided to join. Um, went through the vigorous process, um, loved every minute of it. Things that um, I've been doing in the community, I just attach it to Sigma right now. You know, I'm always in the community, always giving back. Um, I am an educator, I'm a mentor, um, and I just love what I do. Today, Phi Beta Sigma has blossomed into an international organization of leaders. 
From its inception, the founders also conceived Phi Beta Sigma as a mechanism to deliver services to the general community. Rather than gaining skills to be utilized exclusively for themselves and their immediate families, they held a deep conviction that they should return their newly acquired skills to the communities from which they had come. This deep conviction was mirrored in the fraternity's model culture for service and service for humanity. What the Phi Beta Sigma means to me, that is a good question. I would have to say that the fraternity means everything. So what does Phi Beta Sigma mean to me? And the question was asked, uh, did I have to think about it? I don't have to think about it because it's inscribed on my heart. You know, the ideals of brotherhood, scholarship, and service uh, going all the way back to the three founders, they're in my head. And so there's something I think about daily. Some kids say ball is life, but for me, Sigma is life. Hello, Phi Beta Sigma, and congratulations on 100 outstanding years. Back in 1914, this fraternity was founded right here in Washington, D.C. Since then, the world has changed in ways your founders could have never imagined. But I know they'd be proud to see the brothers of Phi Beta Sigma and the sisters of Zeta Phi Beta making a difference in their communities. What those three young men understood, and what you understand today, is that we all do better when we live up to our shared responsibilities. Every day, you're doing your part to make our country and our world a better place. And I especially want to thank you for committing your support to my Brother's Keeper initiative and all that you do to give our youth, including young men of color, the support, guidance, and mentorship they need to achieve a fair shot at success.